tried to flash kick, I think, there. Oh, but damn, that was with a combo. What? I don't, I don't, I'm honestly, I don't understand Street Fighter 5, bro. Yo, 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 what is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Punk, and we are back with another video, and today we are Punk Reacts because we have a good video. Today is the Japan CPT online event that we all love to watch every year. We This is definitely one of the most loved CPT events that we watch on this channel every year. So, without further ado, I need you to go like, comment, subscribe, and turn the post notification bell on, and let's get into the video. So, first match we have is a player named Tenya Wanya, or Kyohei. Ain't that Marlon Pa name? That's Kyohei, right? And this is Yusama. So these players made upsets in their pool. I think Ten Soup or Kyohei is the guy who, that won the pool that Kawano was in. These Japanese players are hungry, bro. They trying to they trying to assert themselves into this picture. They trying to get on that Street Fighter yeah. league. No. You got Raging Demon. You got Raging Demon. Oh my God. I think that overhead is actually safe in V Trigger because when you do it, you can cancel it to the V Trigger. Just command grab. That's nuts. My man had that. He had the heart to just command grab a fellow with super and back to the wall about to die. You see, a lot of Nakali players are doing well this season now. Again, this is how you know Nakali buffs were really big for the character, honestly. He definitely was a big winner and one of the best characters in the patch or to come out of the patch. Now, a super will put you on guess for game. Now is gonna kill. Yeah, I think that's death. Kage don't have much health, so yeah, I think this yeah, is gonna kill. Momochi versus a player named Ketsu who played Lucia. Our girl Lucy against some Sean? No, you're not dead. Got V trigger again. Oh, confirm! No, why would you do that combo? Why would you do that combo? <laughs> My man Jay Chan feeling. He's like, bro, I would have won that game. He's like, even I do the combo. I know the combo. Doesn't look like he's too phased by that. Got the little cute bunny outfit on with the little purple bunny ears. Looking for that confirm on the stand medium kick. He's been so good at landing on oh, a big shimmy. Waste the bar. Waste the bar. Yup. Waste it. Waste it. Yup. DP. My man is looking even better. Oh, the slide. The classic Lucia Ender. If San Francisco skip neutral in Street Fighter 6, he's gonna he's gonna blow it, bro. I promise you. He's gonna he gonna pop a blood vessel where if he if he sees a uh, skip neutral EX move. And Momochi just looking good. Uh it sucks. It's death. That is yeah. Top eight, yup. Right now, we have Dogra versus Yosai. I feel like you don't really see Dogra too, too well in CPT events all the time in Japan. Oh, hold on. Dogra is still... Oh, the jump back light kick. That was funky. And then the empty jump low. Oh, the V skill. I feel like that V-Skill catch people off guard so often. Yo, Paper Doll Cuts, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Welcome to the Alpha Academy. I appreciate that so much. Oh, with a jump back. Oh, he tried to get the shimmy there. Cycle Crusher. That's punish. Oh, he could have got a bigger punish. Dogra lucked out. Oh, my God. This is so hard for Yost. He mashed like it there. DP, oh no, he got the back throw, that's even, that's big, super, oh that's death, we didn't super, oh my god, and he tech, bro, why'd he save the super, that was death, these fellas were just playing high octane, bro, they don't know what decision they were trying to make, so we got Pugero versus Gachi Kurn, oh this is a good match, this is actually a really good match, my pick to win this tournament, I want to pick Gachi Kun. 
If he's still in the tournament, I love picking Gachi Kun. I think my man, ever since he won me like that, I don't know how much money. He won me like five hundred dollars, six hundred bucks. So ever since he won me that, I'm always gonna root for some Gachi Kun to get get the dub. Oh, yeah, yeah, he punching his lights out, bro. My man got two black eyes, a bruised lip, all that. But hold on now. Got the corner. That's gonna hit. And you still get the mix. Oh my god. This is big. Mixer. Oh no, you don't get the mixer. Okay. Grab. Nice. Ooh, but the jab, jab, Fugera. Not scared to challenge. That's honestly a good challenge because Gachi Kun was definitely plotting for some devious things on my man in the corner. Both round ones in last game and this game have looked the same. Gachi Kun very dominant. My man Gachi Kun said, when we're at our most natural and purest form, no makeup, none of that, I'm smoking you. But as soon as you start getting that EX meter, you start putting the makeup on, you know what I'm saying? Putting the filters on. Gachi Kun, he not really, he not with that. And Balrog is an ugly motherfucker, so that's probably why he lose when he has like no makeup or no EX and all that, you know what I'm saying? That's an ugly motherfucker, so <laughs> it, it makes sense why he losing. <laughs> There's a big crush count. Look, see, I'm telling you, bro, when he get the meter and stuff, bro, he is, it look different, bro. Can I switch my pick to Momochi? He would be my second pick because Gachi Kun is getting washed. But I mean, oh, oh, you, oh, oh, you could do that and you get a mix, bro. That tornado lasts forever, but it don't really matter. Can I just switch my pick to Momochi? Now, Gachi Kun can still win from losers, though. Oh, Jazzy is a Luke player in Tokyo. Okay, so it's a Luke mirror. He might have won a DP super. Because that would have killed as a confirm. He might have not just wanted to do low 4 super. I think low 4 DP super would have killed 100%. Nice, but he hits him with the unreactable. Oh my god. Oh, that sucks. And the back throw from Tokido. Very optimal. Look at that meter he built there. Nice dash check from Jazzy. Still showing some type of life in this match. Got a big combo. Oh, again with the back heavy kick catching Jokito just jumping back. Can get around from Jazzy. Mm, nice challenge from Tokido. Optimal combo. Wow. Tokido be doing a lot of supers, so I don't know if any of these are on accident. Maybe my man just likes super and with loop. He do mad damage, and it is plus dash. I think it's plus two. Mm, unreactable. These losers matches are have been pretty free. Tokido not going out so easily. Daigo Gao versus YHC Mochi. Oh, I love when these two play each other because it really shows how. Much both of them knows this matchup. Daigo is so good in this matchup, even though it's not considered one of the best for Gauss. He is so good. I love when these two play against each other. It's always just so good. Such a good match. Right now, Daigo already pushed YC Mochi to the corner, taking minimal damage, but he fights his way out. That teleport was not a safe jump. Daigo noticed EX flash kick, but that sends Dawson full screen, so. If you're Dawson, you don't really mind getting hit with EX Flash Kick of all type of reversals. But he baited the V-Shift. That's oh, I'm surprised he didn't EX Flash Kick, but nope, that's stun. No back throw. Reversal, yup. And now look at all the gray health he built up. And nah, the way Daigo's fighting Dawson in the corner is perfect, honestly. One confirm with the V-Trigger Super is going to take it. Oh, but it didn't combo. That's super. Yep. Nice. Confirm. Daigo is honestly just walking Dawson down. Taking all his gray health. He don't care about none of his gray health. He got a mission to push you to the corner. And he don't want to take too much damage doing it. That seems like Daigo's strategy right now. Tried to flash kick, I think, there. Oh, but... Damn. That was... What a combo. What? I don't, I don't, I'm honestly, I don't understand Street Fighter 5, bro. Is it because of the combo he did with 
if he did a button into that, would have not killed? I don't understand this game with supers, bruh. What the hell is that? That never kills at that health. Daigo's just a genius, bro. I guess that's just... Maybe that does more damage than Sonic Crouch Strong. Because he could have... Let's see. He definitely was in range to do Crouch Strong. Let's see. Yeah, he could have done Crouch Strong Flash Kick Super, I think. But I feel like that wouldn't have killed. I don't know, bro. I don't understand how Street Fighter works, bro. This is loser's bracket, too. This is the first match of top 16 losers. So these two players are fighting for their life right now. And they still got enough. Oh, my God. The combo. Bro, Daigo be too optimal at times. You can't lie. Oh, man. When Daigo master a character, it's like you can really tell that he is master guy, bro. He, Mochi was looking so... Oh, no. Did he try to... Bro, Daigo's the biggest try hard at times. Then he's just the biggest goofball. Why'd you crouch walk into a super? Just block it at least. What, what is that? Uh, bro, is he really about to win this round, bro? Come on. Oh, my. He's trolling, bro. Oh, my God. No, come on, bro. He, you see what this man just did? <laughs> Daigo is a is a class act, bro. He enter he's entertains us. Dogro versus Tokido. Dogro had a very close match in his winners match, so definitely <sighs> Dogro should not be discouraged or you know upset about his last match. He definitely played phenomenal, just he could not clutch it out at the very end. Nice sweep, and he's definitely looking good at the start of this match. No, bad scissor kick. I think Dogra right now, he's struggling to answer here. But he was pretty good. Wow. I'm so sorry. Maybe he just don't think Tokido's going to jump this much. But as a pro, when you notice something, and you notice your opponent isn't punishing something, you take abuse of it. Someone might call Tokido random for doing this, but it's a strategy. If you're not getting punished for something, you know what I'm saying? Why stop? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Oh, wow, he'd be reversed with that. Oh, hold on now. He didn't be key. Doger was down like this too on the last set, and he brought it to 2 1 being down. Did not cancel it there, thinking Tokido would just be scared of the cycle crusher. Oh, wow, what a whiff punish. Doger almost can be chipped out. Yep, that's why he's V reversing is to build some gray health. Yeah, so if you do something... Oh, yeah, they're dead. Pro Tokido conventionally punches his way into the top eight. So, we have Yu Sama versus Momochi. So, it's the Nikali player who's been doing very good. Got himself into top eight winners. And, you know, everyone knows Momochi here. And then you have Yosan versus Kugera. And then down here, one of the matches I've been waiting to see for a while. I don't think I've seen these two play. Haguchi versus Daigo. I'm very happy that we get to see this match. One of my most anticipated matches I've wanted to see. So I'm very excited to see how that is. And then we have down here a classic matchup between Tokido and Gachi-kun. Where I feel Gachi-kun is so good versus Tokido when he knows that he has to play him. We will come back for you with the top 8 matches. And yeah, this bracket is looking good. So as always, let me know what you thought about today's matches. And... You know, let me know what you think in general about the CPT in Japan. And only having one qualifier this year. Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.